What's up, everybody? This is Jason Elsa Sparsa Dyer with Deepity Alive. We're out here at Growl Records Division Brewing, and we are talking to one of these assholes with Mike. What's your name? What's the name of your band, dude? Sleepwalker. Sleepwalker. Dude, how long have you guys been a band? Uh, we've been a band since like 20, 2021. Uh, we stayed in the garage for about a year. And, yeah. uh, Was that COVID influence? Were you in the garage because there just weren't places to play? Yeah. Some uh, to a certain extent, yeah. Uh, this was like kind of towards the the tail end of it, and okay. then uh, yeah, we got our first real gig here. We actually played our first gig at my birthday party, and I yes. will say yeah. it was fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, I mean, it, it was good at the time, but like since yeah. then, <laughs> yeah. During that show, I. Uh, I got drunk, and then that was before we played. And then as we were playing, I was drinking with one hand and playing with one hand the entire set. Sheesh! And it was a fun night, but we did not sound that great, I'll admit. So let me ask, uh, for anybody who's never heard of Sleepwalker before, has no fucking clue what's going on, I'm going to just pan a little bit. Guys, there's six assholes at this table. Yes, there is. Two of them have some, like... Wish I was an old man hair stylish going like <laughs> boys. I don't know what to tell you. This gray hair I'm rocking. This shit is genuine. So it still gets me ID'd, but it's genuine <laughs> as fuck. That's Hell yeah. Y'all good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. So let me ask you. Like I think, all right. I think I saw a stringed instrument that was not either a bass or a guitar yeah. on that fucking stage. Yeah. I think. I fucking think I saw a percussive instrument that was not a tom or a kick or a fucking snare. You know, Talk to me, man. What's here. going on? Toby on that stage? Hayes. Yeah, okay. Let go, let go. So uh, I was I used to help out the band for a while, just like loading up Brett's drums, and then I, I was talking to Hudson. I was like, hey, you know, I've got like a Glockenspiel and shit, and he was like, you know, that'd be really interesting in the band. But I got in because I initially played the jaw harp. Oh shit, <laughs> Mr. Bungle. Wow, dude. I know. Oh my god. Which I need to bring Mine's that back, up. but you know, jaw harp every now and again, the glockenspiel, uh, the bongos, and then the yeah, cello, yeah. which is absolutely wild. I, so, I was gifted the cello. Given that, uh, let's say maybe 20, 25 percent of the people that came into Growl tonight have no fucking clue who you are. <laughs> they see what you've got as far as instrumentation on the stage, right? Yeah. And they're like, God damn, a cello? Oh my God. Yeah. What, what was that? Wait, what was that wooden instrument? The uh, was it just a? It wasn't just a bongo, right? Uh, yeah, I just had the bongos. Okay, uh, right on. As, on top of that, yeah. So, what when these oh, people the are, are scratching their heads and they're going, "What the fuck is this? What genre is this? Well, how do I find this on Spotify? How would you guys describe that?" Yeah, he's old question. <laughs> uh, I grew up listening to like a lot of Mr. Bungle, like oh, you know Mike shit. Patton. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Mike Patton. Mr. Bungle, dude, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Someone should slap your daddy oh, for that. Flesh, <laughs> right, I was just saying, like Mr. Bungle some wild shit. No, yeah, no. At the, the, what, what was the line? He was like, <laughs> he's a butterfly, he's a hermaphrodite, and he fucks himself as he fucks the world. Yeah. <laughs> some shit like, you found inspiration in that. You're like, you know what? I'm going to wake up tomorrow <laughs> you know and fuck shit up. Like, that was I the move. That. <laughs> yeah. I want to do yeah. that. That hits close to home. Oh, uh, and then here recently. When we first started, uh, I'd say it was a lot of, uh, I, I really like Black Midi as well, and Black Country New Road. Yeah. So does, does so does this man. He saw Black Midi live yeah, with we me. Went, we went together? Yeah. We went together when? Last year? Uh, it was like two years ago. Oh, shit. Yeah. Two years ago. Yeah. Black yeah. Time flies. Yeah, yeah. For me, Black Midi is a big influence. Frank Zappa. Uh, uh, Bro, the world doesn't even know, like, 50% of the Zappa content out there. That library is real. It, it, it is insane. <laughs> no, <Yeah. laughs> I'm not even kidding. Uh, Zappa, like, fucking lunatic in the best way possible. Uh, also, people like David Yao. Dude, this man knows like Jesus an infinite Lizard. amount of bands, I tell you. And not only that, but he knows all the lore. He knows Shit. everything there is to know about the band. You're like the Marvel nerd of actual music, huh? He's our historian. <laughs> okay, I'm hogging the mic, so Esteban's very interesting. Me, so is Brett. We'll start with Esteban. I, I, have, I have a really like general ass like music podcast question for you. Okay. okay. When you guys are fucking around in the jam space and you're trying to write a new song. Do you come up with the riff or the lyrics first? 
are you coming in this with uh, guys? It's going to be a, you know, like how, how are you constructing your shit? Right. Uh, typically, um, honestly, I'd say most of the time Hudson will say, hey, look what I made up. And then he just plays a riff. And then like 20 minutes later, we have just the basic structure of like a five minute song. And then from there, we kind of just pick apart little things within it. And then we just add and add and add and take away if something needs to be taken away. And then along, along the way, me or somebody else will have like a, a cool idea. We'll try it out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna interject. I'm gonna interject. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so basically, the way a Sleepwalker song comes together <laughs> oh, is that Hudson brings in one of the most wild and crazy, <laughs> weird time signature fucking riffs ever. Weird time signatures. And then we're yeah. sitting there. We're si we, we once sat on a riff for like four or five months because we didn't Sheesh. know what the fuck to do with it. <laughs> that song ended up becoming Jump on the Wax. Oh, which, yeah. which is on Spotify yeah, and, and all on, platforms. It's on streaming platforms Jump everywhere. on the Wax, yeah. Sleepwalker ATX. Uh, most people think that's Austin. Uh, Alvarado, oh. originally. Yeah, small town. <laughs> small town, yeah, Alvarado, yeah, no. Mansfield area, yeah. Uh, I actually had an idea for merch that everyone shot down. Uh, but <laughs> but I, it, I wanted I exactly to do, we're getting a new logo design. And then on the back, I wanted to put, uh, what was it? Uh, something about fucking bastards or something. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> Podunk, uh, what? stupid fucking podunk bastards. Yeah, yeah. And they shot it down really fast. <laughs> like, give it a year, brother. Yeah, give, give, give us some time. We, we might warm back up. They're gonna feel it in their fucking bones. <laughs> It'll make so much sense. It, it goes hard. It goes hard. Uh, jump on the wax. It's on Spotify, Apple Music. Uh, we got exciting stuff in the future. Uh, there's a lot of great local Denton bands. Oh, yeah. Bullets between tongues. <laughs> cinema. Uh, fucking, uh, since my beloved, like, dude, I just saw a show yesterday. It was fucking insane. But that's, and stream jump on the wax. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> Sleepwalker, <laughs> growl records, deep video live! Let's go! Yeah! Thank you.